Hey, this is Jack Wagner, and you are listening to Jim boom, 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 on Bass. Welcome back to another episode of the Jim on Bass Show. We're here at Tahoe Edgewood with the great Jack Wagner, and you've played every year here, right? 35 years. All 35, yeah. Something else. I'm really grateful to be back. Yeah, and it's, uh, as you know, it's always beautiful up here, and I got to talk with your old pal, uh, Jim McMahon. He's done, you two are the only guys right. I've done every year. Every year, yeah. So Jimmy and I show up every year. We get announced at the players meeting, you know, it's kind of like... We have that in common. It's pretty cool. The old veterans. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, so you've won this tournament three times, right? Twice. Or twice. Yeah, this year will be three times. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm in the future. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> now, I'm just curious, what do you do with uh, those trophies? Do you display them anywhere, or how do you do it? Actually, I have both of them right here. Uh, I carry them with me everywhere. Um, <laughs> is that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, yeah. No, no, they're at home. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And one thing I thought was cool about you, too, is I don't know, do you have any good jokes? Because if you can handle comedy, you have every range of entertainment, sports, acting, comedy, singing. You could kind of do it all, right? Yeah. No, I, I can handle comedy. But as far as having a joke, I just wish I had corded my shirt with your shirt. Oh, yeah. Okay? See? Do you see how I went? Right? Yeah, very nice. I just wish we'd have talked before this, so yeah. I'd have lightened it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, when it comes to music, though, it made me wonder, uh, who was your first concert, and who were some of your favorite bands growing up? You know, I'm from Missouri. My first concert was Led Zeppelin. I think I was in seventh grade. It's wow, a good start. Yeah. Uh, I was a big Neil Young fan. Mm -hmm. I love Southern rock and roll, that type of thing. Elton John. Love Elton John. Well, how did you get into music then? Were you acting first, or were you always kind of singing and playing guitar growing up? Or Yeah, no, I was I self-taught guitar, but I went to L.A. as an actor. You know, I went to drama school, but the music came out of General Hospital. I, mm -hmm. I you know, got the part uh, on John Stamos's band on that show as a singer, so I had to sing, and uh, that's where the recording contract came in the record All I Need with Quincy Jones from, from General Hospital. Some good names right there. Yeah, yeah. Do you seek out musician friends then, or do you like to meet some of your favorite musicians? Or You know, there's a bunch of guys here from Chicago and, you know, cats from Rascal Flats, so it's always great to be a musician. You always know the language, you know. I know golfers, you know that language, so... You know, I'm kind of lucky that I, I do a few things where I can, you know, kind of collaborate and chat with so many different, you know, types of professionals. Well, one thing I thought was interesting, there's so many athletes here, and it made me think of, like, football. They have Hell Week. If you're an athlete, there's going to be workouts you dread. So, like, as an actor, is there any type of scene that you're like, oh, man, that's going to take a lot out of me? Rain. <laughs> Wet scenes. Trust me. Whenever you see rain and, and battles and this, it's like all actors are like, Oh, we're shooting through the night, and it's going to be wet. So that's a tough one usually. Gosh, well, no rain up here. Yeah. It's good to see you. Thanks, right. thanks for giving me some time. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you.